Finally, we got some new team comps on Ascent. All we've been seeing on this map is the same boring <sighs> five Asians. But M80 are completely changing the game. They are the only team in the world running Breach on this map, and it is a blast to watch. This brawler heavy comp doesn't stop fighting until the very last second. So is Breach really the new Ascent meta? Are we really going to cut our Sentinels? I mean, yeah, why not? This explosive cyborg completely disrupts how teams like to play on this map, and it is so hard to deal with. Now get ready everybody, because this game is packed with serious firepower. And speaking of packs, with Lupoi, you can open some up and receive Valorant points. Lupoi is a free app with over 15 million registered users worldwide and a 4.6 star rating on Google Play. Basically, you collect coins and diamonds by doing simple tasks like reading comics or completing surveys. You then use those to open packs to get free games, in-game currency, and it's basically free money. Or if you don't have time, you could use real money like me. And in this pack, you have the chance of getting a lot of Valorant points. I mean, look what I packed. The results speak for themselves, and these prizes have a higher value than what I paid for per pack. And remember, you can open these for free. Or maybe you don't like free money and just need a duo to play with. Then you can use their chat radar feature. You make your own profile and you get matched with other players with similar interests. This definitely beats just having another random toxic Timothy on your team. So check out Loopboy with the link in the description and use code TEETS to receive a free community pack full of diamonds, coins, and so much more. Now let's get back to the breakdown last a maximum of 20 seconds. M80's comp is very, very proactive, but entertaining. All right, everyone, we got a brand new playstyle for Ascent, which is arguably the most cookie cutter map in this game. M80 isn't running a Sentinel, but a Breach instead, meaning that since they don't have anyone to effectively hold map control for them, they need to keep moving. If they get stagnant, the offense is going to have a really easy time hitting a site, as the defense is naturally going to have to spread out and watch every lane. But if they're brawling, they'll have sufficient map control to have a solid defensive half. And this is how you should play when you don't have a sentinel. You need to keep moving, fight for map control, and make up for that lack of information. So with that being said, M80 start in a... what the... A, a zero five zero setup. Yep, they are fighting for mid control, no matter what. But what are they doing with Breach? Well, he's fantastic at clogging up so many of the lanes that teams love to fight for. He can fault line A main, he can stun the entirety of Catwalk, he can stretch out to market, and he can even clog up B main. But in this position, he's ready to stun off his teammate's contact in mid. And this guy's strapped. Breach has full utility, and Jed and Fade both have sheriffs, and KO has a ghost. But what if they go into A, or B main? Well, don't worry, little Jimmy. Omen is going to one-way A main at the beginning of the round to apply fake pressure, but is spotting A site from tree, and he's still ready to help out in mid, and Fade is spotting B site from market but she also has her haunt to clear it out and is in a position to also help in mid with her sheriff. It looks risky, but trust me, all their bases are covered. So their plan this round is to frag out in mid. Hard. But what about Shopify? Well, they're headed right for all five of M80's players. Both teams want mid control, but only one of them can have it. Shopify starts the round with a couple jump spots for bottom mid and a double swing. Test different things, run different things. And Dude, I'm so glad they nerfed this stupid frenzy. But just because M80's jet went down, that doesn't mean that they're backing away. Back to the comfort, but in a renewed way that we have to be expected. Oh yeah, and a reminder to the desk, right? The guy that we highlighted. Fade and KO stepped up to the plate, and KO takes down the opposing jet. And here's where that fault line comes in. Breach recognizes that the attackers are coming from both Catwalk and Tiles. So by stunning Catwalk, this allows his KO and Omen to safely double swing out and trade out the Cypher. And because Shopify hopped off Cat to duck into cover, Fade was able to pin them down and land two important kills. See? I told you. These guys don't give up any map control for free. They make you work for it. So this leaves one remaining Shopify player, but with the spike dropped in mid, he never really stood a chance. MA managed to clean up the round 2 buy with an explosive retake. Now this round, they're turning their attention to B. And every round, they're going to swap up where they're fighting so the attackers are put in a blender and have no idea what the defense is going to do next. Pistol round was mid, round 2 was A main, and now it's B main. They're set up in a 3-0-2 spread. Their plan is to constantly gather information in B main with Fade's surplus of utility. And if it tags anyone, 
all three initiators are going to dump their utility on any attacker foolish enough to push into here. Jet and Omen are anchoring A, but mid is wide open. And that's okay. They've kind of contested mid the last two rounds, and Shopify are conditioned to use utility to clear this area out. So when they do, M80 can adjust accordingly. And Shopify are set up to take B main with three players. And then there's the other two on the opposite side to hold map control. Oh boy. We're in for another big punish. Shopify starts the round by contacting up B main, and because they don't hear anything around the map, M80 needs information. So this is the perfect time for Fade to unleash her prowler, and it gets a tag. She throws her C's, and she hears it latch onto someone. And yeah, you can actually hear this thing when it grabs onto somebody. So once they know Shopify is stuck in B main, all three of these players time the utility perfectly. We see a KO flash for the Prowler, and Breach's fault line fills up this entire lane. Shopify are screwed. Across the board, and good util from EU. Not only figure this one out, but they want to fight off the back end. Down, this is a disaster for the attackers. They lost their main initiator, and the spike got dropped behind this box. M80 lobs another flash combined with a haunt to secure the space, and top it all off with an omen smoke. But back in mid, Vic and Moose pick the perfect reaction. Because M80 fought for mid so heavily, they recognize that mid is wide open. They walk up catwalk to find a trade, but eventually they push up mid to try and pinch B main with their two teammates near hut. But Xander has the read. He gives up this entire third of the map because the spike was dropped in B. The world and Xander. Well, Xander's here. He anticipates this pinch and trades out another member of Shopify. But once Xander goes down, M80 recognizes that the pinch is coming. They don't want to fight this anymore since they have the bad weapons and they just give up the spike. And Shopify, on the other hand, still think that they're in here. They commit their paranoia and KO Molly to clear it out. And just like that, they finally retrieve the spike. But... If you look closely, they don't have a lot of utility left over. If they want to win this round, it won't be easy. So Vic tries to push further to make a play and spawn, but with M80 staying grouped up with their bad weapons, they steamroll him. Now with that elimination, the defense have solid loadouts, making this retake 10 times easier. Yeah, it looks good for M80 right now. We'll see what Mata can find, if anything. Koala goes leaping by, re-clears. Mata finds the first you there on the trade, and now B-Dog... Well, has some big shoes to fill. The Knives, first one to drop. Don QD just behind him, and one of three. Not going to be enough here. M80 keep the win streak alive. Shopify just lost their full buy round to a bunch of sheriffs. So now they're forced to use stingers and bulldogs. But, but hey, even though this SMG got nerfed, it can still melt people. And the bulldog isn't that bad either. This won't be a walk in the park for M80. This time, they're in a 2-1-2 default. Breach is the first rotator and the mid-watcher. By him playing back here, he can literally stun anything his team needs him to. You got market, mid, tree, A main, B main. This is Breach's headquarters. And because they have the better loadouts, M80 are playing more passive this time. Now Shopify are set up to split B with Jet, KO, and Cypher going up mid, and these two are going through B main. The attackers kick things off with a knife for catwalk and a smoke for arches. This emulates them pushing up cat, but they're actually going to push through both sides of the smoke and take it up mid. Breach spots the dark cover and spams through it before heading back to spawn to set up his stun. He even aims it at catwalk, predicting that that's where Shopify are headed, but as soon as M80 hears the cage and KO flash, they know what's up. So you see Breach whip his fault line from market and halts this hit to a complete stop. Playing in wine, they catch him in this round. Won't be available again as Koala. Man doesn't even need Nismo this time. Breach's utility divided the attackers so they could never pinch on Koala Noob. He's able to isolate the B main players and then turn his attention to the ones in market who are also getting blasted from behind by an aftershock. Fade was then able to swing out from stairs and Breach got her trade from his spawn rotate. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, M80's defense is looking pretty solid without a sentinel. Get So Shopify were able to grab last round and completely shut out M80's retake. What happened was that the defense left B-Site completely open because they had Fade's Nightfall, but Shopify had some good reactions and pulled through. And that brings us to this round, and M80 are back to fighting mid. They're set up in a 1-2-2 zone. Jet plans on getting one with his op before getting out, and these four are brawling hard. And I hope Shopify are ready, because their plan is to split A with four players of their own by contacting up Catwalk. And then their fade is going to take a main with their prowlers. Shopify open the round with an arch of smoke, a jump spot, and they start their walk up cat. But Nismo peeks out in the mid, and he's like, hmm, 
No one's peeking me from tiles. Breach. Stun catwalk. And what changes now that there's sure confirmation that an ox still on the board? They try to walk their way slowly this time around out towards mid and punish for it our Shopify. Shopify successfully hold off this mid push. They've managed to turn this into a three versus three, but Mata is down to 30 HP. Now, despite this bombardment of utility, Shopify are in a pretty decent spot. But how are M80 going to recover? Xander starts by smoking bottom mid so John QT can get out and he repositions. Their new plan is to double stack A and let Jet do her thing on B with her op. Shopify decide to keep moving up catwalk and let Cypher take A main by himself. But they just saw Breach in mid. They have no clue he's repositioned with his omen to A. Fade then prowlers in a tree and then unleashes her nightfall. It clears the entirety of sight and they push in. Now, because sight is clear, there's only one big question mark remaining, A main. And Moose knows this. He's taking his time clearing it out and waits for his teammates to come pinch it with him. But this crossfire that Breach and Omen have is pretty hard to beat. But he gets something here from this position and wine. Seas goes out, he's actually getting tagged up. Taken down as Mata as he looked to play the swing. Moose there for the trade once more. Three trades for the Cypress. The resurrection comes through. John Q to the next one, one up. He cuts remains. down two and Koala caps off the round. After dropping the ego, Shopify take a timeout to talk things over. Dude, I don't know how to beat this breach comp. <laughs> I guess you could say you're <laughs> stunned. <laughs> Shopify's economy isn't looking great. If they drop this round, their chances of making a comeback are going to be slim to none. So their plan is to take A main control, since M80 haven't fought it that often, and then plant an Omen Lurk into Wine and go split B. But M80 are setting up another aggressive play to disrupt whatever Shopify talked about in their timeout. And this play might look familiar to some of you. M80 kicks things off with a fault line for tiles, Fade's haunt that's landing on this roof, and Omen teleports into his own smoke. If there was anyone in this area, Fade's haunt should tag them, and Xander would blast them through the smoke as they glue up on his screen. But unfortunately, no one's here. Instead, Shopify have taken a main, which is completely empty. Because while our teammates are being proactive in mid, Jet is positioned in heaven, ready to get anyone who crosses a main with her op. This is a great plan, because when teams usually push tiles, it's done with three or even four people sometimes. So a good response to this is to punch it up a main and take the site since it takes so many enemies to set up this tiles push. The defense takes one part of the map, so you take the other. But that's when Jet's going to get hers and then get out. Perfect play coming out of that timeout. But look, Shopify aren't convinced. They just take the A main orb, Omen actually teleports across to get into Wine, and then the attackers back out. Now, because no one was in tiles, Xander has pushed up into a strong mid position. You see Ko move over to jiggle his tiles for him, and once this Archer smoke goes up, Fade runs over to get ready to pinch mid with Omen. I mean, she leaves B side open, but that's okay. They have two big ultimates to retake the site with. So the attackers are now moving back into mid, but if they don't thoroughly clear it out, they're going to get punished. No. Not like this, man. Yeah, oh, I mean. Down, mid. And you can go ahead and tally that as another successful mid pinch from M80. This comp is so proactive that you have to watch your every step. Otherwise, you're going to get rocked. It's now a four versus two, and Shopify tried to clutch up with their Omen ult, but M80 clean up nicely. Shopify have managed to string together a few rounds, forcing M80 to save. They're forced to take a timeout, and it's time to fight for A main. Besides one of the round, M80 really haven't pushed this part of the map, so they're going to this round. They're in a 1-1-3 setup, and Breach is charging his fault line to cover A main in case anyone pushes while his Omen and Jet walk up. And Shopify are headed straight towards them. They're starting in a passive default, but Breach's stun is like a mile long and is going to tag anyone in this area. Uh, so let's see how they handle it. Koala Noob starts the round by immediately swinging a main, and Omen follows close behind. And Shopify haven't moved a muscle. They're waiting for the defense to push out, but I don't think they're ready for what's about to come next. Ooh, this time it's no operator, but look at this, off of the timeout, Shopify expecting something like this, operator just has no- Breach's fault line and Omen's paranoia clogged up this entire lane, and these players never stood a chance. And like, if you're Shopify, what exactly are you supposed to do? You just lost your space maker, and you just lost your smokes. What are you gonna save? The remaining attackers group up B and try to make something out of nothing. This has been nothing short of a masterclass from M80. One more round puts them up 9-3, to three, and they have one more trick up their sleeves. 
They start with four people towards B, and their plan is to completely flush out this entire third of the map with everyone's utility, including Fade's Nightfall. And there's a couple attackers here. Shopify's plan is to work the wings in their 2-1-2 default, but there's no time for defaulting. M80 explode out of the buy phase. Last round here, three ultimate snow commands. A big one here to work with, and both of the nightfalls too. Down, B. Vanity got obliterated. Breach fault lined this lane, KO had a flash line up for over this wall, and Jet capitalized by dashing forward. I mean, Vanity tried to ult back, but the defense didn't care. And now you see another solid breach. Remember how I said if teams push this part of the map that the attackers usually respond by taking A? Well, M80 knows this. As soon as they're done with this push, they all immediately rotate out and group up mid. They expected to meet the offense here, but they're not. So they choose to get even more proactive and walk into tiles. There's no way that Cypher expects this. And the last time these teams faced, it was a very dominant performance from Shopify and their attacking side. M80 couldn't find a way to stop them. This time around though, M80 are about to hold their attack to three. It's funny how the same jet that just took down Vanity pushed all the way through mid within the next 20 seconds and takes down Cypher next. He must be thinking they're seeing double. But M80 are in complete control of this round. So much so that Shopify only has spawn control. I mean, guys, listen, just watch the end of this round and go ahead. Tell me that this comp isn't overpowering. Only one that they lost in split two. We had to be expecting this, at least for the half. With a perfect reads in so many of these. And, and yet the last one getting taken down 9 to 3 on the half for M80. Teats, this comp has so much utility. It's gotta be good on attack. Show us around on attack. Okay, all right, calm down, little Timmy. Since you asked nicely, I'll show you one. Now, yes, this comp has a lot of abilities that's going to overwhelm the defense if they aren't proactive themselves. Watch. M80's plan is to A split with Omen and Breach taking A main, and these three are going to walk up catwalk. But they need to be careful. Shopify have four players here ready to contest this third of the map. Vanity even has a C's lineup to tangle up anyone who's going to go for this orb. Both teams begin by throwing their KO knives that land almost at the exact same time. M80 begin their walk up mid, but the defense slot their omen into wine to form a nice crossfire setup with Jet, who's standing in the entrance to sight. But M80's knife tagged Omen. Are they going to clear out wine? Now, as soon as the offense gets to tree, you see a complete domination of utility. M80 mod, <laughs> that is absolutely an M80 way. They're playing fast, however, into the bulk of the defense. Three players here, that flash just moments too late. Mata falls, good seize. Aftershock just behind it, and Wall maybe takes a bit of friendly fire before eventually falling, but every time- Okay, buckle up, because there was a lot of pieces to this hit. Fade started off by prowling into tree. Breach also lined up his fault line to tag anyone in this lane. Omen paranoid this entire door area, and once they know KO is stuck in this corner, we see a Fade seize and a Breach aftershock completely steamroll Mata. And then, to take A main, Omen's teleported across into this cubby, Breach flashes twice for them to double swing, and they took this space convincingly. Uh, sorta, minus the team flash. After all this brawling, they have the player advantage 3-2. to two. Shopify's remaining players rotate through heaven to try and retake quick, but the only thing that M80 know is proactiveness. They weren't going to be caught off guard. Bail them out with a 2k. And Colin's silly doing this. Vanity, the last one here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but after watching this team play, I'm starting to think that Breach could be the future of Ascent. 